hey, 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 happy day. Sharon Horn Elson here, also known as Pajama Grandma, not in my pajamas, hanging out, traveling, and down in Fredericksburg, Texas, which is a beautiful town. If you've never been here, highly recommend that. It's a place in Texas that you'd want to check out. Very quaint, very German, very interesting, picturesque town. Great museums, great there's wineries. There's like 36 wineries around um, where my mom lives down here. So it's a, it's a fun place for us girls to come and visit. I say us girls, but God, I'm almost 60, so should I be calling myself a girl anymore? Doesn't matter. Let's talk about sawing logs and how you can use that to supersize and grow your business. Love this expression because I get accused of sawing logs at least once a year when I go to an Oktoberfest celebration with a bunch of friends and, and, and relatives. A bunch of us women go up north to Rutgers Resort in God, is it in Deerwood? Whatever town it's in. It's outside of Brainerd, Minnesota. And we go to their Oktoberfest celebration. And of course, that means a weekend staying overnight at the cabin with a whole bunch of people. And there's a group of us that snore and saw logs. And there's a group that don't. And so we've got like a special room for the snoring people and another room where all the or other rooms with the other non snoring people, the non law soggers, saw loggers, whatever, sawing log snoring people get to reside. It's fun. But it got me thinking about what does this have to do with my business and running my business? Well, a couple of things. Um, one of the best problem solving strategies I have is to think about a challenge or a problem or a situation right before I go to sleep. I ask myself a question about that situation in a positive way to get an answer. And so often I'll wake up in the morning and I'll have thought of the answer or dreamt of the answer in my sleep. And it's, it's always the perfect solution. I don't know if you've ever tried that, but I highly recommend. And now don't get mad at yourself if you try it once and you have to like sleep a couple nights on a problem. Usually the bigger the problem, the longer it takes me to come up with an answer that way. But by asking myself a question before I go to sleep and start sawing logs, I will often wake up with maybe not the perfect solution, but a much better solution than I had when I was trying to work it out and trying to figure out and consciously solve the problem you know, when I was awake. Sometimes our subconscious does a much better job of solving problems than our conscious mind does, believe it or not. We always know the answer. We just don't let ourselves know the answer sometimes. Another way that sawing logs can help you supersize and grow your business is that the time that we rejuvenate, we get re-energized and we fix our bodies and we heal is at night when we're sleeping. And so it's important that as much as we like to run, run, run through our lives as we're building our business and scaling, we have to remember to take care of ourselves and get sleep as well. Also, the other thing that I thought of this morning when I was thinking about the whole sawing logs thing, I'm like, ah, eh, sawing logs, this doesn't have anything to do with my business or my professional life. It doesn't, it mostly has to do with my personal life. And if I'm irritating somebody because I'm snoring at night. But really, it got me thinking about sound. And sound is a sense we almost never, it, it very seldom comes up when we're presenting or talking about or describing our business. And so I got to thinking, what is a sound or an, a, uh, a, because sound is a great trigger, right? It goes straight to our subconscious. So what is a sound that I could associate with my business or the problem I solve or what I do for people? So today as I'm going about my day and tonight when I go to sleep, I'm going to think about, if I haven't gotten one today, what is the sound that I want associated with me and with my business? What is a sound I want people to hear and then I want them to think, oh, Sharon Horn from Pajama Grandma. That is just so her. That's the sound I want to try to come up with because sound and music are the they go directly to our subconscious. So if we can come up with something like that for our business, it's incredibly powerful because number one, almost no one else is doing it. People are doing sight triggers and videos and all kinds of flashy things or visual things to attract attention to their business. But almost nobody is using sound unless you're in the music business or that type of industry, almost no one is using sound. So why not find a sound that would be easily and associated with your business. That's why people put music on the front of their videos. That's why people put music with almost everything they do. It's why every television show has a soundtrack or a unique set of piece of music that goes with it. So as soon as you hear that, it triggers you. Oh, I know that show. I know that song. I remember that commercial. Commercials are awesome at having jingles. So why don't we have a sound or a jingle or something associated with us? So that's my challenge to you today. That's my challenge to me today is come up with a sound or some sound bites or some sound things that are associated with our business. Ah, politicians are good with sound bites, right? So why aren't we? I think that sound is an underrated sense when it comes to using our senses to attract people to us. So let's go out and use sound. And all because I read about sawing logs today. The 
actually the expression came from a writer in the early 1900s. I don't even know if I mentioned that. That was trying to, it's, and it's a sound idiom. So it's one that describes a sound and compares something to a sound that we hear. So why not find a sound idiom for our own businesses? That's it. Go out and have an amazing day if I can help you in any way. If you're brave, share your sound idiom below so we can all start associating it with you. Have an awesome day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.